Hello, this is Mrs. Jones, and today I'm going to walk you through creating a brochure in Microsoft Publisher. So we will just start by clicking Start, All Programs, Microsoft Publisher 2010. From the home screen here, I can just tr choose brochures under Most Popular. That's going to take me to all the available templates, pre-installed templates. Today we're making an informational brochure, so I'm just going to pick from this top category right here. You'll get a small preview up here on the right-hand side. You can also customize your color and font schemes here. You can do this all of this once you're in the brochure, so don't spend too much time here. And when you're ready, go ahead and click Create. This is going to bring you to a preview of the brochure. As you can see, over here on the left, we have two pages. Page one that we're looking at now is the outside of the brochure, and page two is the inside. This right panel over here is actually the front of your brochure, and we're on page one, again, because this is the outside. So this is your front panel over here on the right. This is your back panel. And this is actually the part that folds in to the brochure. And as you can see, all I'm doing is typing, selecting the text in the text boxes and replacing it with my own. You can also do that with the images by selecting the image and right clicking, go down to change picture. And I've actually already saved some images to my H drive for this particular project. So I'm just switching out the photos that are already there. Of course, you can also insert your own pictures by selecting from the tabs at the top, insert picture. These you can kind of just resize and move around wherever you want them. Finally, in order to change a picture with a caption like this one here, you need to double click on the image so you get these round placeholders and then you can right click, change picture and select from your images. You can see that kind of cut my image off so if I double click again go to change picture and click reset that'll allow me to view the whole image. Page 2, remember this is where most of your information is going to go and you know if you don't like something you can simply delete it, you can move it around, you can insert text boxes and uh, images as you like. Finally, um, like I said at the beginning, if you go up here to page design you can adjust your color scheme and your font scheme from this page as well. While you're working, you want to make sure that you're saving to your H drive. I probably should have done that first. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.